So uh, I have no faith in the U.S. dollar holding its value where our debt is going up. We're printing money to pay, pay our bills. That's like using a credit card to pay your mortgage. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense at all. And I was getting an education in gold and silver and what I call real money. You know, gold and silver are real money. And I, so I bought my first Kruger and I, I, pay, I had to pay $50 for an ounce. You know what I mean? But a few weeks ago, it was earlier, it was $35. With the BRICS hinting at introducing a new gold-backed currency system, financial experts like Robert Kiyosaki are sounding the alarm on the U.S. dollar and cautioning investors to diversify into other assets like gold, silver, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. In this video, I'm going to explain how the world is moving away from fiat currency to other assets and how it is the right time to take action before it's too late. Stay around till the end of the video for some valuable insights from the renowned financial expert Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. He'll share his reasons for backing gold, silver, Bitcoin and Ethereum and why you should consider doing the same. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to Investing Machine yet, smash that like button and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. All right, let's get into it. Robert Kiyosaki believes the US dollar is on the verge of a collapse, as you can see in this tweet. Robert Kiyosaki has apparently been observing the situation in South Africa and hearing rumors about the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, potentially introducing a new cryptocurrency backed by gold. What does this mean for the US dollar? Well, according to Kiyosaki, if the BRICS nations actually go through with this gold-backed crypto, it could have massive repercussions. The idea is that this new currency would be seen as more stable and valuable compared to the fiat US dollar, which isn't backed by anything tangible. Now, if this happens, Kiyosaki predicts that trillions of US dollars currently held by other countries could come rushing back to the US. This sudden influx of dollars could trigger hyperinflation, drastically reducing the value of the dollar. In simple terms, your money would buy a lot less than it does today. Now, here's where it gets more concerning. Major Russian banks, including Sparebank, are making moves to provide a universal currency based on gold. In December 2022, Sparebank launched a cryptocurrency stablecoin backed by gold. This is a significant step towards creating a more stable and tangible form of currency compared to traditional fiat money. But that's not all. A more promising development is the introduction of gold checking accounts in Russia. These accounts allow you to send digital grams of gold to various accounts, similar to what gold money aimed to do back in 2001. The key advantage here is that banks already have the infrastructure for checking accounts, so adding a gold denomination is just a minor extra step. So the concern is that if such a system ultimately becomes widely adopted, it could lead to trillions of US dollars flooding back into America, triggering hyperinflation. Now, what's the solution? The answer is simple. Diversify your investment portfolio. Robert Kiyosaki has remained an advocate for investing in gold along with other assets like silver and cryptocurrency. And his recent tweet is another wake-up call for all of us. While this might sound alarming, Kiyosaki's approach is all about preparation. He believes it's better to be ready for the worst rather than living in a fantasy world where everything seems fine. Kiyosaki insists that investors should avoid all paper assets and focus on tangible investments that will hold their value. So why gold? Let's break it down. Right now, gold is valued at over $2,300 per ounce, and 100 years ago, it was just $20. So here's the thing, gold has always been a safe haven during economic crises. It's been around for thousands of years, holding its value when everything else seems to be falling apart. Unlike paper assets, which can be devalued by inflation or economic instability, gold stands strong. It's a tangible asset that isn't tied to the performance of any single economy. When currencies lose their value, gold tends to hold or even increase in value, which makes it a solid hedge against inflation and currency devaluation. Robert Kiyosaki's advice to invest in gold is all about stability. 
By holding gold, you're protecting your wealth from the potential collapse of fiat currencies and global economic instability. It's not only is silver used in batteries with EVs and all that. <clears throat> and I bought my first EV. I love the car. It's a uh, Cadillac Lyric. It's, I go past gas stations and all that. And I, I, have, I, own, I own oil wells, some kind of trader to my industry. But I, I, I like the battery car. I mean, I, get, I, don't, I don't go far distances, but I love the car. But the thing about no counterparty risk and all this, um, it's getting scarcer and scarcer and scarcer, much like Bitcoin, because silver is consumed just as Bitcoin has a finite. And that's one reason I like silver. And most people can afford 35 bucks today. Robert Kiyosaki calls silver the second most used commodity after oil. And there's a good reason for that. Currently, silver is trading at about 50% below its all-time high, which means there's a lot of room for growth. Plus, silver has been used as money for centuries, making it a reliable store of value. Kiyosaki strongly believes that investing in commodities like silver can provide a solid hedge against inflation and the volatility of the stock market. Unlike fiat money, which he refers to as counterfeit fake dollars, commodities like silver hold intrinsic value. And the great thing about silver is that it has an affordable entry point. You can invest in silver coins, bullion, jewelry, or even EFTs that track silver trends. But here's where it gets really interesting. Silver isn't just valuable because of its historic use as money. It's also a crucial component of modern technology. Silver is widely used in electronic vehicles, EVs, and solar panels due to its excellent conductive properties. EV manufacturers rely on silver for electrical contacts in automatic braking systems, power steering, and navigation systems. This growing demand has led to a supply deficit for the past five years. So, what does this mean for you as an investor? With the increasing adoption of electric vehicles and renewable energy sources, the demand for silver is only going to rise. This makes it a smart investment not just for its value as a commodity, but also for its critical role in future technologies. So, we've covered gold and silver, but what about cryptocurrencies? Robert Kiyosaki has been a longtime supporter of Bitcoin, and he's got some compelling reasons for it. Back in November 2023, he called Bitcoin the best protection against hyperinflation, emphasizing that it's essentially people's money. Unlike fiat currencies, which can be devalued by government policies, Bitcoin operates independently of central banks and governments. Think about it. Unlike the US dollar, which can lose value due to government policies and economic instability, Bitcoin remains outside of that system. He sees Bitcoin as the modern digital equivalent of gold that can protect your wealth when traditional currencies might not. One big reason Kiyosaki favors Bitcoin over other cryptocurrencies is its classification as a commodity, much like gold and silver. This is crucial because commodities aren't subjected to the same stringent regulations as securities. Kiyosaki believes that SEC regulations could really clamp down on many altcoins, but Bitcoin is safer from that risk. And now the approval of Bitcoin ETFs has only made Robert Kiyosaki more bullish. These ETFs make it easier for big institutional investors to jump on the Bitcoin bandwagon, which could drive up demand and value. This means more stability and potential growth for Bitcoin. Now let's shift gears to Ethereum. Kiyosaki is also a big fan of Ethereum and for good reason. Ethereum isn't just a cryptocurrency, it's a platform for decentralized applications and smart contracts. This makes it incredibly versatile and valuable. And with potential Ethereum ETFs on the horizon, we might see even more interest and investment in Ethereum soon. So by investing in Bitcoin and Ethereum, you're not just protecting your wealth from economic uncertainties, you're also tapping into the future of finance. Cryptocurrencies are becoming more integrated into our financial systems, and having some exposure to them can hedge against traditional market risks and open up new growth opportunities. So to sum up, Robert Kiyosaki believes the US dollar can crash in the near future, and with its fall, hyperinflation will emerge as the final nail in the coffin. Now, if you haven't already invested in the assets recommended by Robert Kiyosaki, what about stocks? 
Watch our next video on how to get rich with stocks, which will feature insights from Monish Pabrai. But before leaving, make sure to leave a like on this video and let us know about your thoughts in the comment section below. We love hearing your insights and recommendations on our channel. I'll be back soon with another video right here on Investing Machine.